Hello my friends and welcome to another slow stitching making vlog. I hope you are well and have been trying to find some joy and peace in the troubled times we find ourselves. It doesn't feel right to not acknowledge the horror that Ukraine is facing now. I never thought I'd see a country invade another in my lifetime and I certainly hoped my children and my children's children would never see such a thing. The troublesome events happening halfway across the world and the terrible flooding that is happening at home are in the forefront of my mind constantly. But I admit that I also try and hide myself away from them. My heart breaks for all that are being affected, but for my own peace of mind, I find it necessary to take solace and refuge in my stitching. Let's sit down together, calm our minds and soothe our souls with a nice warm cuppa while I share with you my slow stitching escapades from the past month. I busied myself creating some EPP wall art. This is perhaps my favourite type of EPP project to make. Pretty wall hangings to decorate the home and create a cosy environment. I finished two dahlia rosettes, a pattern I designed using half inch honeycombs and squares. This pattern is available for free on the Maker Stash website and blog. I also found myself making a colourful hexi heart wall hanging. Perhaps one of my favourite things to make with hexes are these heart designs. They are so sweet in all their scrappy glory. I have a whole pattern collection of hearts created in different size hexagons also available at the Maker's Stash. I took these three wall hangings to my shop, the Blue Mountains Makers, to sell. I am happy to report that the Pink Dahlia has already found a home and I hope it is bringing the owner some joy.
I recently shared on my blog my plans for some autumn decorating and items I wanted to try and make. One idea I had was to create a cushion made from octagon flowers in my chosen autumn colour palette. I had some of these flowers left over from a bassinet quilt I made for my son Leo. As you will see here, I am not very precise when cutting out my fabric shape. I always try to maintain a quarter inch seam allowance, but it doesn't bother me if I go a little over or under, or if my fabric shape is not at all even and precise. No one is going to see the back after all. Using the glue pen for these octagons and squares is such a time saver and makes for easy basting. I do still thread baste, especially when using smaller shapes that are under half an inch, as I find the glue pen too messy. But for all of the shapes and sizes, I always reach for my handy glue pen.
What do you think about when stitching? I find my mind often wanders to so many different places. I find myself making to-do lists or thinking about things I want to get done around the house or in the garden or making general plans. I do try and banish these thoughts as quickly as they come though so that I can enjoy my stitching time. Sometimes I think about pattern ideas for EPP or other crafty ideas that I would like to experiment with. Other times I find myself daydreaming about something I have watched on TV or a movie I have seen. The one thought that is constant though when I am stitching is more a feeling of contentment. I find myself in my happy place, somewhere that allows me time to reflect on daily happenings and how I am feeling. Do you find yourself in the same happy place where time can almost stand still?
I started this embroidery design in February to celebrate World Embroidery Month. I freehand drew the flowers directly onto the fabric. This was very much a make it up as I went along piece. I wanted to experiment with different stitches and incorporating other elements into the design. I picked out a quarter inch hexi flower that I appliqued on and added some stitch details to. Then I decided to use some fabric scraps to make another type of flower. It was liberating to not have a plan or follow a pattern, but just let my creative thought take me where it wanted. As I finished one floral element, I would draw the next flower or leaf to the design with a friction erasable pen. This was my first time using this pen and I loved it. It was easy to draw on the fabric with and I liked the fine line it created. To remove the ink drawing, all you need to do is add heat, such as using a blow dryer.
I have been getting back into a bit of crochet. I find as the weather starts to cool, I have a desire to knit and crochet more. I want to make some of Sandra Cherry Hart's painted anemones pot holders. So I bought myself some Shipia's stone washed cotton and Fiddlesticks Wren 8 ply cotton. So many pretty colors to choose from. After my yarn purchases, I decided to continue with my studio tidy up and reorganization. I've been shifting things around a lot lately and buying new storage for my growing craft stash and shop products. I took all my hand dyed skeins off the shelf and was stunned by the amount I have hoarded. I feel like I have a bit of a problem with buying pretty skeins but not actually making anything with them. When I buy them I always have a plan of what I will make, be it socks or a hat or combining a cowl or shawl. I have heaps of patterns saved on Pinterest and in Ravelry of items I want to make. I even have some skeins balled up and ready to go. I find that my heart and creative need to make just gets pulled more towards sewing. I also tend to feel a huge sense of overwhelm when thinking about starting a new crochet or knitting project. I agonise over what I want to make, what yarn to use, if I have the right weight of yarn, if I have the right size knitting needles or crochet hook. In the end, I just end up not starting anything. I hope to change that mentality this year and make space and time to crochet and knit. I have a shawl and a scarf project that I need to finish. I literally just need to add tassels and they will be done. I've been needing to add these tassels for two years now. Once they're finished, I can then start some fresh new projects.
What projects are you working on? Are you enjoying some sewing or some knitting and crochet? I love to discover new patterns and designers, so do please tell me in the comments. I hope you have enjoyed this vlog and also enjoyed some peaceful stitching time while you watched. I hope your heart stays bright even when all around us things seem to be dark and a little hopeless. Until next time, happy stitching my friends.